Hello, greetings, hola, bonjour, namaste, shalom, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Job Leads from Diamonds Hustle. Thank you all again for joining me today as we explore some of these sizzling, sizzling job opportunities. So today's jobs, majority of them are going to be uh, six-figure income jobs. Um, I do have some that are not six figures, but majority of today's job leads are going to be six-figure opportunities. So guys, as you all know, this channel was created to bring you daily job leads that offer the flexibility of remote, um, remote work from home from the comfort of your home. So you never miss out on any of these hot job leads, guys. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Um, as you guys know who do follow me or if you're new to this channel, once these videos do go live, the jobs pretty much disappear in a matter of minutes. Uh, two hours. So you are going to want to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So as soon as these videos drop, you guys can be the first to be notified for these hot job leads. So guys, also, you guys have been asking me, talking about it. Hey, where's the new resume templates? Where are they? So I actually have them, guys. So look, there are 38 templates and I have created them for you guys. So all you have to do is go to diamondshustle.com. They are there for you. Some of them, like the Accomplished Talent Acquisition Executive Template or Business Development. So you don't have to actually be applying for that type of role to use these resumes because these resumes are editable. Meaning when you get your resume, they're going to come to you as a PDF and a Microsoft Word document so you can edit these uh, resumes to actually um, fit your uh, position that you are looking for so guys i just want you to know that i have completed them so they're there for you so without further ado let's go ahead and dive right on into that first opportunity that i have for you guys as a job lead today so this is going to be with KeyBank. It is a consumer relationship consultant. It was posted today. So if you are in Ohio, um, there are various locations, um, but also work at home as well for this opportunity. So let's go ahead and see exactly what it is that you'll be doing on the day to day within this role. So in this role, guys, pretty much um, you're going to report to the consumer lead uh, strategy and sales manager, and you're going to be responsible for making outbound calls to prospective and existing consumer clients. So while you're going to actually be interacting with clients during such calls, the relationship consultant really aims to improve client satisfaction, enhance and expand client relationships by performing a financial review. So offering financial advice and selling products and services. So the consumer relationship consultant really operates in a centralized environment, specializing in deepening the relationship between key bank and their valued clients. So this position will be focused on outbound consumer deposit and lending product sales and service activities. So the essential job functions of what you're really going to be doing on the day-to-day -day is making manual outbound calls daily with the assistance of KeyBank. You're going to meet or exceed sales, quality monitoring, client experience, and efficiency goals. Demonstrate ability to have relationship approach combined with the needs-based sales techniques. You're also going to demonstrate all the key value in all conversations with client and team members as well. Develop a solid understanding of the regulatory and compliance guidance surrounding outbound sales and Telephone Consumer Privacy Act. You're going to consistently deliver distinctive client service that is knowledgeable, empathetic, and patient, prompt, and courteous. You're going to build that rapport and strengthen client relationships while servicing the client needs. You're going to research and provide verification and documentation of client issues and resolutions. Maintain thorough knowledge of understanding of key banks, products, and services. Effectively educate client and um, the features and benefits on key banks, products, and services. You're also going to recognize uh, implicitity stated. 
Um, so you're going to really deal with client needs and opportunities to offer additional or enhanced products and services. You're going to be someone who's going to be knowledgeable and respond to and overcome client objectives. You're going to act as a peer partner to the other consumer relationships consultants. You're going to uh, display consultative selling skills, perform financial review, uh, complete the sales and application process. You're also going to recognize and effectively act upon client retention opportunities, act as a liaison for the other clients to provide first call resolution, adhere to the established policies and procedure, and work collaboratively in a team environment to achieve team, department, and line of business commitments. So for this role, guys, all you need is a high school diploma or a GED. Two to three years of retail or telephone sales experience is required. So that can be, you know, working for Target, working for JCPenney's, Walmart, any of those Um because when you are a sales associate on the floor, you are selling that product that is on the floor. So even if someone is asking you about a product, you are telling them about it and basically um, pushing them closer to buying that product. OK, so demonstrated uh, success in cross selling and upselling strong knowledge of financial products. Work experience requiring multitasking, uh, demonstrated success in problem solving as well, um, ability to work in a fast-paced outbound sales environment, excellent phone communication skills, strong interpersonal or written communication skills, computer uh, proficiency with knowledge and experience in Windows environment, knowledge of computerized banking system, and a proven track record of successful outbound sales. So guys, this position is eligible to earn a base hourly rate in the range of 17 to 19 23 per hour, depending on job related factors such as level of experience compensation for the role also includes an uncapped incentive plan that pays 30 K. Okay, plus annually as long as minimum goals are met. So guys, don't just think in this role that you're going to be stuck making the 19 23 an hour. So if we did that, pretty much, if you were to make the nineteen twenty three an hour, you're going to be at almost forty thousand dollars, so about thirty nine thousand nine hundred ninety eight dollars. Plus, on top of that, you can get this bonus of thirty k. So meaning you'll be making about sixty nine, almost seventy thousand dollars at the end of the day if you meet your goals. So don't just think that you know the nineteen twenty three is it, because you can actually make that uh, commission bonus. Okay. So if you guys are interested in this role, then simply hit apply here. And then from there, you guys will start the application process. So let's dive right on into the next opportunity if this one is not for you. All right. So this is going to be with Progressive. This is going to be for our auto dom uh Lord, auto damage claims adjuster um, catastrophic. So basically... The duties for this role is you're going to maintain availability to deploy at any time within the requirements of the deployment rotation schedule. You're going to accurately and timely inspect vehicles and write estimates, documents, claims, related information appropriately and make decisions consistent with the claim standards and local laws. You're going to be setting clear and accurate expectations regarding repair duration, estimate detail, um, repair outcomes, and financial obligations. You're going to be setting clear and accurate expectations regarding repair duration. Um, you're going to complete estimate uh, estimate timely, update uh, PD suite appropriately, and meet productivity goals. You're going to identify related and unrelated damages. So also, you're going to make total loss determination and establish total loss evaluation. So must have qualifications. It says a bachelor's degree or higher or a combined total of five years of work experience and or college education. Uh, must have one year automotive appraisal uh, estimates or insurance experience work or educational experience uh, must include making decisions solving problems uh, planning prioritizing and organizing effectively communicating verbally and in written customer service and a valid uh, driver's license and auto insurance so estimating uh, preferred skills is estimating experience is highly preferred and schedule is 12 hour days uh, during CAT season so the compensation for this role, guys, is going to be 51200 to 68300 Also, you are eligible for a gain share bonus up to 16% of eligible earning based on company performance. 
So if you were to come in on the high end of 68,300 guys, then if you were able to get that 16% uh, bonus, you'll be looking at about $79,228 uh, for this role, okay? Then you get the benefits of 401k with dollar for dollar company match up to 6%. You get medical, dental, and vision. You get wellness and mental health, um, health care flexible uh, spending accounts as well, paid time off, paid and unpaid sick leave, parental uh, and family leave. A diverse inclusion and welcoming culture and career development and tuition assistance so if you guys are interested in this role simply hit apply and then from there you guys are good to go so for this particular role I do want to let you guys know that primary location is United States it is a full-time schedule employee status is regular where it says remote uh, from home it does say no and the reason it says low is because primarily you will be working from home, but you will also have to uh, travel, will be required to different locations as needed. So you'll be working remotely, but you will have to travel um, as needed to go to the different locations, okay? So if you don't want to travel whatsoever and you just want to wake up and be like, hey, I just want to go to my computer and work, that's quite all right. Let's dive right on into the next opportunity. So this is going to be with U.S. Bank. It's for a SAS credit card, uh, credit card fraud rules um, analysis. Lord, I can't talk today. So this was posted uh, July 28, 2023. Job is available in three locations. So it is remote in these locations here, but also remote around the United States. So you don't have to actually live in these two states here to actually work for this opportunity. Okay. So the SAS Fraud Risk Analyst is going to be responsible for managing, monitoring, and coordinating fraud risk management projects for credit card um, products such as Buy Now, Pay Later. So predicts the level of fraud risk, develops policies and procedures used to evaluate and control fraud risk, and analyzes the potential profit and loss impact on the BNPL of changes in risk strategies. So... Uh, the SAS programming um, in a professional business environment, quantitative analysis skills and experience pulling data from databases is required. So basic qualification says bachelor's degree or equivalent work experience. So again, guys, if you don't have the bachelor's degree, but you have experience in what they're looking for, you can still apply for this role. So typically more than six years of applicable experience. So preferred skills, but not required skills, is five plus years of SAS professional experience required, master's degree preferred, strong analytical skills relative to evaluating root cause of fraud trends, excellent leadership and interpersonal skills, banking and or uh, financial services experience is preferred, and uh, effective verbal and written communication skills as well. So the benefits they have for this role, again, guys, is going to be health insurance, basic term and optional term, life insurance, short term and long term disability, pregnancy disability and parental leave, 401k and employer funded retirement plan, uh, which is good. You're also going to get paid vacation from two to five weeks, depending on salary, grade and tenure. You're going to get up to 11 paid holiday opportunities, adoption assistance and sick and safe leave accrual. Of a one hour for every 30 worked, so up to 80 hours per calendar year unless um, otherwise provided by law. So if you guys are interested in this role uh, with U.S. Bank, then simply hit apply now and then you guys will go through the application process, okay? So did we talk about the salary for this role? No, we did not. So salary pay ranges is going to be anywhere from 99,365 to 116,900 to 128,590 for this particular role. So if you guys are interested in this six figure income opportunity, then please apply as soon as possible before it is gone. So let's dive right on into the next opportunity, guys. All right. This job lead is going to be Vimeo. So this is going to be for a lead video ads manager. It is based in New York. If you are in New York, you may be going into an office. But if you are not in New York, you can work remotely for this opportunity. 
So this position directly ties to Vimeo's overall growth and revenue uh, goals. So the ideal candidate has a proven track record of managing YouTube ad campaigns across platforms and delivering on KPIs. So what you'll do is you're going to create and manage YouTube ad campaigns, including audience targeting, budget caps, creative optimization and scheduling. You're going to generate daily, weekly, and monthly reporting for all major metrics. You're going to analyze campaign uh, data to measure success and optimize future campaigns. Work with cross-functional teams to help implement and test creativity. I'm sorry, creative, ad copy and landing pages. You're going to design, implement, and track tests to validate bidding strategies, budget rules, landing pages, and video um, creative. Also, run brand lift studies to better measure the um, efficiency of basically the video ads against core audience segments. So you're going to work closely with SEM and SEO teams on uh, keyword research to ensure that the YouTube algorithm favors Vimeo in search results. You're going to also stay up to date with YouTube advertising policies and best practices, including the newest ad formats, bidding up. Uh, methodologies and beta programs so what they're looking for from you what you can actually bring to the table for this opportunity is five plus years experience in google ad marketing with a passion for video advertising a bachelor's degree background uh, in SaaS, subscription digital service e-commerce search platform search engine or agency is ideal highly proficient in google ads adwords particularly youtube advertising comfortable working with analytics platforms such as google Google Analytics and Looker, understanding of pixel and ad tracking and platforms such as Google Tag Manager, highly analytical with deep knowledge of Excel, ability to work with a high level of efficiency and accuracy under tight deadlines, and strong attention to detail and fidelity to industry best practices. So for this role, target base salary is going to be $111,000 to $154,000 for this role. So. If you are interested in this role, you meet the requirements, you got what they're looking for, you're familiar with ads, you're familiar with marketing, things like that, and then this is for you. So simply scroll down and then start filling out this information here. They're going to ask you a few questions. You're going to answer those questions. Make sure you upload that resume now. And then from there, you would just hit submit on this particular role. And so if you guys are looking for um, resume for this type of role, you know, I do have some of those that may inspire you on um, Diamonds Hustle. So like this one, for instance, um, this may inspire you or you can actually use this template and pretty much turn it around and make it your own for that ads manager uh, position. All right. So let's move on to that last opportunity I have available for you guys as a job lead. And that's going to be with. Uh, Facebook Meta. So here we are with Meta, basically Facebook, and this is a manager privacy incident response. If you live in Los Angeles, you can go um, on site, or if you are remote and you don't live in any of these cities, then you can remote in via US in any state. Okay. So pretty much the manager privacy incident response is going to be responsible for processing potential privacy incidents originating anywhere within the meta, uh, meta family of apps and services. So you manage uh, the privacy incident response from identification, triage, and uh, through contaminant containment, I don't know where my head is, y'all, <laughs> including uh, the critical incident response team. So you're going to really ensure that incidents are addressed from both the technical and the legal uh, regulatory aspects, providing input to both engineering and appropriate legal teams. You're going to also be you know, pretty much the manager, privacy uh, incident response reports to the privacy incident management director and interfaces with the privacy engineering team. So uh, meta functional engineering teams, legal policy and other cross functional stakeholders. So as a manager, privacy incident response responsibilities are really going to be to manage and grow a team of individual um, con contributors 
Lord, what is up with me today, y'all? Who are responsible for handling all um, Meta's first party privacy incidents, intake incidents as well, perform uh, incident fact gathering and initial assessments of privacy risk, provide that input to privacy incident legal for a legal um I guess it's a legal dot assessment. Uh, conduct detailed investigations into privacy incidents and track incident containment. Um, coordinate cross-functional stakeholder communication and required action relative to incident uh, remediation, voluntary or mandatory regulatory or user notification, and external communications. And so you're going to really prepare and maintain investigation uh, reports and supporting documentation, including leadership and board of director reporting. You're going to also identify and implement key performance indicators such as service level objectives and process and operational effect efficiency improvements and build cultivating and maintain positive relationship with inter, uh, internal customers. So minimal qualifications for this role is going to be six plus years of security, compliance or privacy incident management experience, three plus years of people management and team building experience, organizational and coordination skill, along with multitasking experience to get things done in an ambiguous and fast-paced environment. Experience with relationship building and collaboration to bring together multiple perspectives within cross-functional teams. So, preferred qualifications are preferred but not required is someone who has a bachelor's degree in CS or equivalent degree. Experience operating and improving a centralized incident management investigation. Highly organized, product, um, productive, sorry, poised with experience thriving in high pressure, time sensitive scenarios, experience working in a technical environment, and experience working directly with executives uh, to support business decision making. So this role, guys, is going to pay $157,000 a year to $217,000 a year plus bonus plus equity plus benefits. All right. So if you guys are interested in this role, simply hit apply to this job and you will start the application process. All right. So that is it. That is all the job leads I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If any of these uh, opportunities spoke to you, please apply as soon as possible. If you know someone who has the skills for one of these opportunities, please do share this with them so they can join the remote work from home uh, opportunities like the rest of us want to do. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye.